Luffy yeah. is a, game, a guy who thinks about the game very differently. Tokido, I feel like it's hard to hard to imagine anybody who puts in more work than Tokido in yeah. the whole patch, whole package. But Luffy has been able to envision the game in a different kind of way. He sees things differently. He has a different prioritization of what the kind of things he wants to go for. And with a character like Mika, who's all about the mix-ups, anything off the standard meta can be very, very difficult to deal with. And you can count on a great opponent like Tokido to know the meta so you can play it again, use it against them. One of my favorite stories about Tokido you talked about is work ethic, like back in the CBS two days. Someone was, you know, from America was staying and visiting and staying with Tokido. And he woke up and he saw Tokido practicing roll cancel, Honda hand slap. He went out for the whole day, everything, came back and like Tokido was still there, practicing roll cancel, hand slap. That's it. He just, he puts in the work. One single technique. We'll see what that kind of uh, effort works out for him today. He does have a little experience playing Mika. Oh, yeah. Just recently uh -huh. up against Fudo, so he's coming in there. But again, very different style of Mika that we're dealing with here. From exactly. The very different style, and of course, rocking the original outfit here for Mika. And Takedo <laughs> looking aggressive early. Oh, but Luffy boy. answering right back. Yeah, Luffy sure. is definitely more willing to go for the command throws early. Oh, see, he That's faked the, the drop kick. Yeah. yeah. And he would have had the counter if he'd gone all the way. But oh, the other instead. side, and guess what? You are. Oh, no. He oh, could have wow. stunned him. I don't yeah. know why he did that, but. There's an execution error, but he might be able to close it out. Oh, my God. Look wow. at this from Luffy. A dominating round starting here, but again, strong players a lot of times build information in the first round. Absolutely. Uh, but against Mika, she's like an information black hole with the mix ups. Very hard to put a read on somebody. You just got to stay out of that corner. Player, players are willing to pay a lot to get out of there. Oh boy. Now, again, you can see this already. I talked about it in the first match we saw how important the corner position is. Every time someone gets put in the corner, it's it's just it's curtains. Once your movement options go away, and again, he was willing to take the obvious mix up with Chiquito Block just to get that corner side. Yep. Oh no anti-air this time. Luffy has been so good on that anti-air. But also no completion from Takito. So oh. Luffy's still hitting the very dangerous option there to jump over the fireball. Trying to bait out the uppercut, but Tokido remaining resilient. Wow, Tokido answering that dash in with jabs. That's why he's throwing out those attacks from that range to prevent the dash Oh, no, up. because Ooh, it's, counter. A, it's a crush counter. No, not this time. And Tokido smartly not overreacting to that situation, knowing he had a throw to give. Didn't have to go to a reversal option. Okay, nice opening confirmed from Luffy. Oh, no EX? He's so good at that. Luffy is so good at confirming after that. It's a required skill for top player. Mm -hmm. Oh, what a whiff punish. And you know what? Beautiful option to go into the V skill so he could do the side switch. Exactly. To get that corner position. And he's going to get the whiff punish in time. He went with the EX red fireball because even if he wasn't in time and he blocked it, he still would have had the frame advantage. So smart from Takedo for preparation. And this is the thing. Akuma always is just doing massive amounts of damage on all of his setups. But now, bullied into the corner. Watch out, Toki. Of course, Akuma, not a lot of help. One hit in the critical art will be able to take him out. That's what he that was. was. Looking for he it. tried oh, it, wow, but it's bad to confirm. Oh, and that really stings. Yeah, I, I, I was about to say, I, I, I had this feeling that Luffy was going to fish for Crouching Light Kick into Super, and that's what he did. He just had a misconfirm on it. And the only thing that I really don't like about that is because you saw him do the fierce. You saw it get blocked. He was looking for the confirm, yep. and then he had that stacked up in his mental queue. You might remember I've been talking about this for about 20 years. The challenge of, like, once you get your head stuck around an idea, it's very difficult to flush it out. Oh, yeah. That's one of the things that master players must be able to do. Like, if you've ever been at home and you're trying to throw a fireball and something happens and you're like, I gotta throw that fireball. Even Luffy, an Evo champion, perhaps falling there, falling victim to that. Oh, oh no. and there it is. Yeah, got hit out of the air again. That's always kind of a... Interesting interaction right there, a misconfirm. We saw that against Fudo earlier as well. All right, Tokido changing it up a little bit on, exactly. on the neutral. A little bit more fireballs going with a, you know, a raw demon flip in there. A little lighter commitment for mid-range too. Right. So you see if you can get Luffy to uh, overcommit the roundhouse from that range, which is really Mika's only great option from that range. Um, nice thing right now for Luffy, he has a life lead. You can see he's not committing, not a lot of buttons. Again, I respect it. economy of buttons. It's something that I preach a lot when I try to teach people Street Fighter, but you know, look at this. The forward heavy punch is going to connect and all Full that corner counter. Yeah. Nadesco just to get out, but he's going to get hit. What? And left in there, and Nadesco just whips. Oh, wow. boy. Back into the I corner. That was it. genius. But Takedo still finds the jabs. Yeah, again, 
unfazed. A lot of people would have been missed a beat after that. That was right. such a surprise reversal from Luffy, and that's, not and that, Tokido. And that's kind of the thing I was talking about at the very start of this. That level of clarity that Tokido has, it just doesn't seem like you can throw him off his game. That's the heart of a champion is what that is. Wow. I always said to be a champion in a fighting game, you have to have very selective memory. And I'm very you know. worried now because now the same, Takeda's still doing that same dance, but Luffy is now committing. Right. Feeling like oh, has to go yeah. in. Oops, missed a uh, little something. scramble, yeah. yeah. Funny interaction on the fireball. And again, the same reversal back into the corner, Watch but no to Oh, look, he just jumped out of there. I think that was supposed to be a Tatsu in the air. Oh, here we go. There was that confirmed that and I was talking about. Wow, oh, he, he did it! Last year, he was it was such a thing that he never did wake up EX uppercut at all on his way to victory. This time, oh, he wow. throws the V reversal! What a read! What a read! Already drinking the water, he's like, yep. Got yeah. Last year, perhaps even almost using that knowledge to his advantage that everyone noticed, he just did EX Demon Flip on wake up. Switching it up, and the thing I loved about his uppercut there was because Luffy had that big lead, right. Takeda was in danger, so the obvious thing is to play it safe with the shorts and the jabs. <laughs> like, I only need to land one, so if you only need to land one, you can play it with the obvious choice. Takeda read it, got the uppercut, stole it away. 2 nothing. Echo Fox Takeda. Again, two former EVO champions right now, but Tokido, the more most recent one, just from last year, he is trying to go for the repeat. Oh, oh. the dance! The dance! Everybody oh. gets shimmy. God, the Max damage. damage. Yeah, of course, the red fireball 90%. also burns the damage a little bit. And now Tokido, aware that Luffy is, wants to throw him back in the corner so badly, avoids the command throw. Exactly, and also he knew he had to. Th Luffy knew he needed a haymaker to try and turn it around, so I'm worried that uh, Takedo may have a read on him pretty clearly. Again with the shimmy right there, getting the throw bait and punishing the throw with. All the mental games are coming up to Kido, and he's got the corner control. Nice challenge out of the air. Nadeshko. And one of the stories of this match, no violence out of Nadeshko here for Luffy. Mm -hmm. Oh, not what nice fake and punish right there from Luffy, okay. But you see Tokido challenging with that jab so often. Gotta Got watch it. out, Tokido. Can he get it over commit? He just wants low forward fireball super. That's all he wants. You gotta be careful of that. James, do you think we're gonna see a demon? Oh God! Here on the Evo stage, don't, don't, oh, no. don't, no, don't, no, don't no. do it don't to me. Don't be the gentleman. I think this is what we're looking at. But what the set? He's got to find the setup. And also, Loopy, got to be very aware of that option. Yeah, he Tokido knows. Loopy knows. Loopy knows. Oh, oh no! no. He's just gonna go with a regular critical <laughs> art. Toe key. I think he'll be very happy to survive his loser's bracket action. Luffy will be going home. Takedo finds his footing and battles on. The returning champion still has his eyes on the finals.